Oh, hello everyone! Welcome to Earth's Wonderful Life of Hookham. And today we're going to make something a little bit different we had, we had a new that I haven't done yet. But, it also involves a poor camera line. And you know, recently I actually made a video about making a poor camera line. But this time we're going to try to come up with a recipe um, how, how it makes him more like a pot roll using pork or something like that. And I, I want to stir it a little bit here too. I mean, a, a nice little hook butt over here. So, that made a general recipe as well. Now I might have to review or so. Okay. I'm going to... What? No, no, um... There we go. I'll move the camera up this way. Well, you man. All right. The recipe hall is called brown sugar pork wine pot roast. The recipe hall one pork tender wine, six red potato, cut in half. One packet of eight ounce of sliced mushroom, one packet of sixteen ounce of baby carrot, five tablespoons of brown sugar, one fourth cup of Worcestershire sauce, one fourth teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And we have a pretty heat over at 375 degrees. And I'll and with a pork can of wine, the imperial hamburger must be 145 degrees. All right. Let me try to adjust the camera a little bit. Sorry about my camera a little bit moving around. Okay, uh, wait, zoom out here. Zoom out here, okay. Yeah, I'm going to get things pressed up, ready to go. So, remember, the number one rule is how I wash the hand. And, and I have my apron on, but you don't need to wear an apron if you don't want to, so. But, it's kind of recommending to me to have an apron on, hey, you don't want to get very close, get your clothes dirty or anything like that. I mean, if you don't want to get your clothes dirty, you don't want to, but, with all, well, I said, we'll always wash our hands. No matter what, you always wash your hand with hot water for about um, 15 20 seconds. I'm moving my dip pan out of the way so that way, um, we can kind of press the vegetable. Or so. Now with a vegetable, you know what? Like bell pepper, onion, potato, carrot, um, you know, squash, no matter what, it's always better to wash your vegetable. Or any um dirt or anything like that anyway. So 
I'll see you in a minute. Alright, we're back right now. Um, I know it's taking a little bit small here with that, but I don't have a whole lot of room and stuff, you know. Try to do your preparation and stuff. But I tell you what, we're going to start right now, okay? I'm going to move, move my camera to the washing station. Alright. We really have had a trip and had a lot of hard to fail. I hit it. Nice. And look. I have a little bit of red potato in a tiny horse. Now we got some mushrooms in this. We got some mushrooms in this carrot. It's always nice to have the vegetables with your ring. It's always nice to have your vegetables no matter what. It's very important we always wash our vegetables no matter what. Okay. So I'm going to use the carrot hands, the other. We're going to wash it good. Wash the vegetables good. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to wash my hands. So it's winter right now, so the holiday can't have food in here and stuff like that. So yeah, make sure you always get make sure you always um get food out no matter what. Uh, try around the hand. Yeah boy. Now I think I'm gonna do right now. Uh here is I'm going to preheat my oven right here. That's the oven. And it calls for preheating to 375. So we're going to preheat, preheat the oven to 375. There we go, 375. And I'm going to... I have to put the... I have to kind of move the cookbook on the crack end, I wish it was like a small table or something like that. And we're going to have a little bit more room. Yeah, this is a little bit small. We can kind of have a little in a, a little apartment complex or something like that. It's going to really have kind of small kitchen. What we have small kitchen, I mean. Um, I love pushing. Pair of gloves on, okay. Now, I'm going to try moving back to the next washing station over here. Where we try to press the Press the um, pork pan line. Oh, so here are our pork pan line. Uh, I think I'm going to cut a little bit more here. I think I'm going to cut it a little bit more. Okay. Cut it all the time. 
Um, okay. Now I'm gonna move the camera to the hooking station. We're gonna now place the, um, whole camera line. Uh, we have flat right here. We're gonna take off the glove and you always wash your hands after I wash your hands after you uh, um after you hang on raw meat. You can always wash your hand after you hang on raw meat. Okay. Move the hammer over here. And we'll try to show you um, the cutting station. So this is a knife right here. Um, hey, you can always be careful with knife. But we we'll always cut your potatoes in half. Be very careful. This knife is extremely sharp. So uh, you want to cut your hand off and have you run away. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to move the camera. Uh, give me one second. I got I to I uh, move the vessel out of the way. Okay. Give, me, give me one second. I apologize if I, you know, I've been pushing the ticket for a while. It always seems small stuff like that. I want to get it in the right spot right here. Call a presentation. Okay. I got it ready for a moment. Now this is where we're going to do our pressing. We'll take some of the potato. Some of the potato here. Kind of weigh them out right here. Now we kinda got our vest now we got our vegetable and we kinda before we kinda scatter the vegetable and we're kinda scatter up the vegetable. We gotta make sure we go a little bit of a. Uh, Four can of line. Okay, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna show you the fun part. This is gonna be interesting. This is what I'm gonna do with the um this is what I this is my both of my perfect station. Okay, we're going to need our list of memory stuff here, okay? Um, a UVIS, um, UVIS little bowl here. We are going to measure out, um, we're going to measure out, um, a fourth of a cup. A little bit slow. Oh, I got the fourth of that with her.
Yeah, a couple more here. Alright, we got them. Now we're going to put a fourth of a cup of uh, worth the tire shot. Can make our shot. Now we're going to put a fourth of a Mix five tablespoons of brown sugar. That's the main ingredient. Uh, yeah, memory cup. Memory spoon, I mean. Very simple, very, but we're not using that. So, we're gonna try a, we're trying to pack a little brown sugar here. Open it up. Alright. We'll call it tap. We'll call it tap. Um, the brown sugar. A little bit more for a tablespoon. Here, tablespoon of that. Uh, I think I can. Yeah, you can do it when we're a So, I'll do brown sugar number two. Now a little bit more here. Four. One more. Five. Oh, have a walk my hand. Okay, may a little bit here, but we're tired. We're going to tie Clean it up. I mean, no matter after you, wherever you get going, you're pushing it up. I mean, I mean, this is not kind of part I kind of hate to do, but it has to be done anyway. That, that's kind of cleaning it up here, okay? That's cleaning it up. Okay, I think a fourth of a teaspoon of salt is what you need. I have Oh, at this point, it's yep, good. I'm going to hit me and you. Salt taste here. Actually, I think I have salt somewhere. Um, I need a fourth of a teaspoon. Fourth of a teaspoon salt. And we're going to get a half teaspoon. Now we're going to get a half teaspoon. That's going pretty good. Uh, 
attack keep him with yard power. I have to keep him uh I'm a power. Alright, I think I think we got everything under control here. I ain't gonna need to do a whip. There we go. Little thing out of the way here. That's how I do the wig. Now, and now, the fun part. We're going to pour a mixer. We're going to pour a mixer. We're going to pour a mixer on. On uh, our pan, you know, how you have a spoon, it's kind of up a little bit here and we're trying to put it there every poet and ring to go and we're going uh, Put stuff away. Yeah, I apologize if it's a thing that will watch up in the way. There's a lot of you can't go in the way and come with that. Well, I didn't really have that. Uh, it's ringing in here. What we're going to do right now, we're going to bake. We're going to bake the, um, bake the ham. And we'll probably put it in for 45 minutes. So what we're going to do, we're going to clean up the system and everything to try it. Oh, I think I have that down. Okay. We're going to clean the system and we're going to make sure everything's cleaned up. And that's the most important part of the cooking is something that has to clean up after you get done. So, I want to try to go in a little bit of illustration and I want to kind of show you a um, little bit of cooking rule right here on this one page. Tell me what you guys think. So, there's always clean winds and a half. Healthy hand. That's the most important rule. Gotta make sure you always wash the hand, keep the hands clean. God bless all you need. Take care. I want to take it out and check the temperature. If it reaches if it reaches um, 145, it's good. If not, um we'll cut it. For a little bit more. I'm going to leave it out on just for a check. I'm going to zoom it in a little bit. It's 
kind of way it is when it's finished. So, we'll probably sort of take a avert it. Take a look. What if I is actually, what if I is really about 150? Yeah, I think we can try to test me again. Is he a re- Is he a, is he a small guy and is a fork? Is he has ten of this? So, I bet pretty, I bet my money that the thing is. Hmm. In my opinion, uh, there's just some paint right here. I think, in my opinion, we're going to buy Put it back in the oven for, we'll see about an extra 10, 10 minutes here. This is a pretty big pork tender line. So, but anyway, that's just what it looks like when it's finished and stuff like that. So, but I think, I think it looks good. But I'm going to give it, um, I'm going to give it about, 10 minutes. 